This is what we can see while unboxing the Amiran Oxyhydrofuel cell. The first step will be to unwrap the wiring kits. Insert the yellow wire and PE tubing into the black fireproof flexible insulator. All the accessories at the car trunks will be removed and the rubber cover underneath the spare tire will be taken out for modification by drilling a 0.5 inches hole on the rubber cover. Then, the car will be lifted using a hydraulic jack. Connect the insulated bundle between the trunk and the air intake manifold. Use cable tie to keep the wire alignment neat. At the part where the insulated bundle is near the engine, the PE tubing is pulled out to connect the wire joint vertically as shown. Use cable tie to secure wire joint in place. For the one end of insulated cable that contain wire kits and PE tubing, just place them into the space beside the engine and make sure they are deep enough to be pulled out from top of the car. Then, we will remove the air filter cover for modification on the rubber hose near the throttle butterfly valve. A drill is required to make a small hole. On the other side, a copper tube will be placed 0.5 inches deep into the PE tubing at the car front. Then the other tip of the copper tube will be installed into the manifold through the hole. Make sure that the copper tubing is at least 3 inches deep into the hole. Then we can place everything back into the right position. Then, the red cable will be connected to the positive pole of the battery, while black cable will be connected on the negative side. Then we will connect the relay on wiring kit socket. Just secure them neatly to wherever it is suitable. Then for the remaining blue wire, we will place it into the fuse hole as shown. For this car model, the tip of the blue wire will be interconnected at the front passenger seat. The blue wire is then connected to the cigarette lighter wire that is leaving the 15 ampere fuse. Alternatively, use a fuse splitter to connect the blue wire into the cigarette fuse socket as shown. Now, the GX300 requires 4.2 liters of distilled or mineral water. Firstly, mix all the nano crystalline catalysts into the distilled water. Use the bottle cap to connect the tubing and the GX300. Unscrew the cover of the GX300 and rotate the body part until the water inlet is exposed. Unscrew the inlet cap using an Allen key. Once all the water is transferred into the GX300, close the inlet using the Allen key and rotate the body back to its original position. Tighten back the cover. Add the car trunk. Just place the fuel cell in wherever it is suitable and mount them using the screw provided. Then, connect the tube into the connector as shown. The tip of the black wire should be grounded to any metal surface and another end will be connected to the negative pole, while the yellow wire will be connected to the positive terminal of the fuel cell. 